bring snow flurries to southern Alberta as the Calgary Stampeders will close out their regular season home schedule against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And sends it down to the 15-yard line. And brought ahead by Cedric Cunningham. On second and five, here comes the blitz. Bull Levi Mitchell throws it out, and Mo Price has got the catch a first down and more inside the bomber 45 yard line. From the 41, the toss goes to Cornish around the left side. John Cornish busts through inside the 30. There's a thousand for John Cornish down to the 24 yard line, and for the third consecutive year, Calgary's John Cornish has crossed over a thousand yards rushing. Playing time next week. Now the play fake the Cornish. Bully by Mitchell has lots of time. Swings it out to Rob Kote. He's got a touchdown. And so just like that, the Calgary Stampeders take the ball in their opening drive and open this game with a touchdown. The fourth time this year that Calgary has scored a touchdown on its first possession of this of the football game. And the Calgary Stampeders, whose record of excellence speaks for itself, out of the current ownership group, have the ball their own 10-yard line. And the football comes loose, and the Bombers have it as Cornish has fumbled. And at the bottom of that pile, the Bombers have it. Second down for the 14-yard line. Willie stands in, throws to the end zone. It is incomplete. 21-yard line. And the field goal is good, so the Bombers have their first points of the game. Mitchell back in the shotgun. Has time and throws out to the flat. He's got Nick Lewis there. Twisted there for a quarterback by Doug Key. That had a chance to equal that record. Huge advantage for Calgary. Here he comes again, and Cornish press across the 25 up to the 30-yard line. And Cornish, slow to get to his feet here. Remember, suffered a leg injury, and Cornish is down. Fell hard to the turf, and we talked about concussion issues for Cornish early this season, and right away, the Calgary medical team comes out to have a look at the star running back. It was a hard, hard fall to the turf. Well, it sure was. And now Walter on the first down carry. Plus across the 40. Gets by Devon Washington. And Walter pushed out of bounds. Nice snap. Tate gets it down. And it hits the upright. Been that kind of year for any pair it is. On first down for the 35. Willie fires it out. And a big hit there by Fred Bennett as a kid. Mitchell to Mo Price, who gathers that up, and lost the football. It's going back the other way, and Johnny Sears has it. And he gets pushed out of bounds by Stanley Bryant, but another turnover by the Calgary Stampeders. Second and goal. Willie pumps it under pressure. He lost the ball, and the Stampeders have it back. Now, was it an incomplete pass? The initial indication is that he did fumble, and the Stampeders have it back as Jordan. Right down the Blue Bombers' throats, and at will, basically, to start. Mayer has that kick block. And a chance now for the Bombers to recover the ball at the three-yard line. And on second down, Drew Willie throws to the goal line. It is caught for a touchdown. Clarence Denmark has the first touchdown of the game for the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And now the point after can tie it. Point after to tie it. And a low snap, and the whole miss fires. And now it's punted into the end zone by the holder. Convert is no good. On second down, Mitchell has all kinds of time. He chased down, a flag comes down. So rather than try a 47-yard field goal, Maver and the punting unit come on. And Maver was aiming for the sidelines but misses. And Paris Cotton will take a knee. The pass is knocked away by Buddy Jackson. But Jones the holder, low snap, and it's blocked. A line drive field goal. And Imolahu recovered it himself. A flag comes down well after the whistle. So Calgary the ball second down at its own 40-yard line. Mitchell's under pressure, and he is dropped. Sacked by Greg Hickman. away from the pressure and dives ahead of the 51 yard line on second down 
Barr gets away and gets dropped at the end of that play, throws it up, and it's caught for a first down and more. Second and goal from the three. Play fake to McGuffey, throw to the end zone, it's broken up. Clarence Denmark was the intended target, but Buddy Jackson steps in front of that. And Hyrule, who puts it through, and the Bombers have their first lead of the game. I, I still maintain that for the Calgary Stampeders, if they play their best football, which is the goal at this time of year, they're going to win, and they're going to get to that 16. Anthony Parker bounces off a couple of tackles. He's lost the football. The Bombers have it back again. At the Calgary 35-yard line. Here's Cameron Marshall on the carry. And again, he puts it through. Mitchell fires, and the pass is intercepted. Picked off by Chris Randall, the former Calgary Stampeder, and another turnover. John Huffnagel going to challenge this, saying maybe pass interference by the Bombers. Well, the, the question will be whether, whether he came through the receiver. To review, we have pass interference against Winnipeg number eight. And here's Walter on the draw play. And he busts up for the first down. Th 13 yard run. On Washington, because to me, the receiver initiated. First down. Mitchell under pressure gets loose. Looking towards the end zone. He is pushed out of bounds. Four man rush. Mitchell has lots of time. Throws in the corner of the end zone and is almost intercepted. Calgary finishing third and long. Mitchell throws. The pass is incomplete. And he is. So Hirolahu will run around a bit and give up two only by Mitchell. Three man rush. Mitchell throws. The pass is caught by Price. He's belted down by Ian Wilde. And Mike O'Shea and the Bombers win their final game of the season. So the Winnipeg season will end at 7 and 11. The Stampeders are now 14 and 3. They can equal the franchise record for wins of the season next week in Vancouver.